quite bougie because it looks like I have a glass of wine and actually it's sparkling fruit juice. <laughs> what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel or of course welcome if you are new. If you are new then hi welcome my name is Finn and in today's video we are actually doing two kind of videos in one today. So the, the main point of this video is to get out my 2021 goals and the things that I really really want to achieve want to want to achieve in 2021. I've also got a kind of get ready with me because after this video I've also got a palette that I need to review so I need to get this done today. <laughs> Welcome to 2021, it's nice to meet you, nice to see you, how are you doing? Did you have a good evening? Let me know, cheers. So talking about 2021 and goals, let's actually recap on 2020. Did I do my goals in 2020? Probably not. I think I did do a video on zero waste goals, I'll link it here. But you know, I don't think I've managed it. I'm not that upset with myself to be honest because I set myself some really unrealistic goals last year. So it's kind of my fault and I don't know, I've kind of learnt my lessons this year. I'm not going to be setting myself unrealistic goals. But, oh by the way, really quick disclaimer, everything I'm using, I'm not going to go into it but I'm going to pop it in the description box down below. So if you want to see what I'm using and what I'm putting on my face, have a read. This year I have got some goals that I'm really really excited for but they're not unrealistic, I think I can actually make this happen. So let's dive into my YouTube goals first. Start with the YouTube goals. Uh, my, last year my YouTube goal was 500 subs as I keep telling you guys but it's because it's so, so shocked that I managed to actually get that and surpass it and double it. So this year I'm not pushing myself too much with the YouTube. I'm still going to be uploading my twice a week unless something major happens to me where I can't but I'll let you know anyway. I might try three times but you know I'm not that I'm not that fast if I can't do it, if I can't do it I can't do it. I do work full time as well so twice a week is still going to be happening. But number goals, numbers aren't that important to me to be honest. It still drives me so I'd really really like to get 1500 subscribers so that's 450 more than I have now. and. I mean, I've gone on Social Blade and they reckon I can get that in a very, very quick amount of time. I think I was meant to have two 2,000 by my birthday um, in May. So they reckon I can do that. But, you know, I'm not pushing myself too hard into it just in case it doesn't happen. And I don't want to disappoint myself. So my goal for that is 1,500. And I think it's kind of doable. I'm actually quite excited. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully I get that in 2021. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about my makeup, but this is two, two foundations mixed together and I love it. Okay, and then moving on from the subscribers, I am so close to the hours needed for monetization. I think I've got about 80 hours left and yesterday I had 150. And going by that logic, by the end of the week I should be able to be monetized, but not that it really matters very much because, I mean, I'm not going to earn an awful lot of money, but my next goal is to earn some money from a YouTube video. Now I don't mean like a thousand or a hundred, I mean like if, if I can earn a five or a tenner, I'm gonna be so happy with that because it's an extra palette, it's another product that I can test, I can review. Anything I get from YouTube, I'm gonna be playing it straight back into YouTube unless I get a lot and then it's also gonna be going towards a house deposit, which probably isn't gonna happen, but if it does, that's what's gonna happen with it. So yeah, my next goal is to earn a little bit of money from a YouTube video doesn't have to be a lot. Yeah, I just want to earn a little bit. Drink some more fake wine. Cheers. Who else was giving this as a kid at Christmas and told that it was wine? Because I was. And this is what happens when you tell your kids they're drinking wine. They grow up into adults that are fully functioning that pretend they're drinking wine. My next goal for YouTube and my last goal really for YouTube is to do some more collabs. Most of my YouTube friends I can't actually meet up in person, like Pete's Vlogs for example. I can't exactly go and pop on a plane and go and see him. One, Covid and two, it's an awful lot of money. That would be a very, very expensive collab. But there are some people that I am friendly with that actually live really local, so I'd love to do some more collabs, meet new people, find more small YouTubers. So yeah, more collabs, that'd be fun. Bloody warm in here. I don't know what happened because it's definitely winter outside, but it is hot in here. Okay, we're moving on to some more kind of personal goals as such. Um, I'm not gonna dive into it right now, but this, this year, 2020 has been extremely, extremely tough. 
I've learned a lot about myself, I've learned a lot about just everything really, about life. <laughs> and yeah, so it's been a very, very negative year and I found it difficult to be quite positive or to see the positive in things. I've had an awful lot of counselling this year and it has helped me a lot, especially towards the end. So one of my goals for 2021 is to be a lot more positive and to maybe not be a lot more positive, but to try and be a lot more positive. I'm going to put the word try in there just in case. <laughs> but I just want to be a bit more glass half full rather than the glass is always empty. One of my YouTube friends, Jen, has a go. She is very into like manifestation and positivity. I've also got a work colleague who is into manifestation, positivity, creating your goals, make them come true, things like that. I'd love to be like that, but I just don't know how to start. So I'm going to start just trying to see the bright side in things. And you know what? I'm also going to accept the fact that if there's not a bright side, there's not a bright side. It's cool. It's life. Sometimes there is just not a happy bit to a scenario. It's all good. As long as you kind of accept that and you don't dwell on it. So my next goal is to be more in the moment, which is something that I've learned through counselling, to be honest. So the counselling I've been having is uh, CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. And it's basically completely trying to change the way that my brain works. Um, and the way that I think about things and just to sort of alleviate my stress and stuff. One day I will genuinely go into it, not yet, but one day I promise you I will and I'll discuss the therapy and bits and bobs like that. But still, moving on to this point, I want to be more in the moment and be more present. The amount of times this year where I'm talking to someone and I just, my brain zones out because I'm always thinking about other things. So even though I'm really interested in what you're saying, my brain is my brain is over there somewhere. And I don't want that anymore. I it's so annoying because I'm listening to you and then I'm like, hang on, I haven't I haven't uh, what did you just say? <laughs> it's so frustrating. So that's what I want to try and do this year. Um which is an awful lot of not pressure to put on myself, but it's something to really work on and if I can do that this year, I'll be so happy. My next one is to phone family and friends at least once a week. And I do kind of manage this, but where I work shifts and my, my weeks aren't like most people's weeks. So my weeks are technically 10 days. I work for six days, I get four days off. I would love to be able to remember when I last phoned people, um, because I'm always forgetting. And it's not because I don't love people. I absolutely love my family, but I just forget that I haven't spoken to them in two weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna really, really, really try and just phone people more. I've got a couple of friends that I need to catch up with. I can't wait to see them when all of this is over. And yeah, that's what I wanna do. My next goal is something that I need to do and I've got to do it this year because if I don't do it this year, I don't think I'm ever gonna do it. But I need to learn how to stand up for myself more. The amount of times I let people just mug me off and it's not that I, I accept it, but I'm just a bit like, I can't be bothered with the argument. No, do you know what? This year, if you mug me off, you're going to get the argument. I'm really sorry, but I don't deserve it. I wouldn't treat someone else like it, so don't treat me like it. So, if you're planning on mugging me off this year, I'm coming for you. My next goal is actually, I'm quite excited. I'm not sure if it's going to happen because it all depends on finances and stuff like that. But, um... I would really, really like to do a level two or a level three in makeup artistry. So in 2020, I actually did my level one. I did a level one in three days. So I think maybe a level two or a level three might be a bit trickier because I'm quite academic. So I find academic things easy. I just want to get better, to be honest. Um, I feel like in the last year I have got better. If you disagree, then please let me know. I didn't realize how much I loved makeup until can i stop dropping things please <laughs> until i started doing it like every single day and uh, i just sort of want to get some more qualifications so that is another goal for 2021 my next goal is actually really really dear to me i want to give myself monthly mental health days so i mean a day a month where i take myself out i go and get coffee i go and buy a new book i have a bubble bath i I just want a day that's basically like a date day for me. I go out on my own and do the things that I enjoy doing on my own. Just to sort of check in, see how I'm doing, because I have let things slide so badly this year and I don't want it happening next year. It's not going to happen, so I say that. I hope 
fingers crossed it's not going to happen. <laughs> but yeah, so monthly mental health days is a must for me next year. I have got to remember to look after myself. The second to last is actually try to socialise a bit more. I am very, very... It's not that I'm antisocial, I'm just very introverted, I think. I am quite content being on my own. I don't mind it in the slightest. It doesn't bother me. I happily go to like a coffee shop, the cinema. I'll do anything on my own. And sometimes like I say that I'll meet up with people just because I know that I should. And then I don't want to go, but then when I'm out, I absolutely love it. So I need to get over this negative way of thinking and just... Put myself out there be a lot more like sociable a bit, bit more open maybe meet some new friends which i actually did a few weeks ago and i went out with two people that i've never actually gone out with before and it was lovely it was one of the best days of this year to be completely honest so that was when we were out of lockdown by the way and we were allowed to meet up with houses so my second to last one now is save money and i've already been doing that already been where's where has my grandma gone i have already been doing that i do that every single month because i work full time I've got like a figure in the back of my head that I want to have by the end of next year, which I think is definitely doable, so we will see. And then the very, very last one is actually go on more Freddy dates. So me and Fred have been together three years tomorrow, so by the time you're watching this, we've been together three years, two days ago. And we don't really go on dates much anymore. That's not really our fault, to be honest. That's coronavirus. So, yeah. But, um... I'd love to go on some more dates, go to the cinema, take him out for dinner. I really, really, really wanted to take him somewhere special for his birthday in January, but it's just not going to happen now. Hopefully, when this is all over and all finished, it will be possible. So guys, my face is done. There are my 2021 goals, kind of. I'm not pushing myself too much. I don't want to disappoint myself just in case it doesn't happen, but I think this is realistic. I can do this. 1,500 subscribers earn some money from YouTube, I don't care how much, do more collabs, stress less, be more positive, be in the moment, find family and friends at least once a week, stand up for myself, do a level two or three in makeup artistry, happy mental health days, try and socialise more, save money, more freely dates. So, hopefully we can do that. So beautifuls, thank you so much for watching, I really really hope you enjoyed this video, it's a little bit different, um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to hit that like button, and if you are new here and you haven't yet done so, consider subscribing down there. Um, somewhere? I don't know. I hope you had a great New Year's Eve and a great New Year's Day. Let me know what you did. Did you have like a family dinner? Did you watch films all day? Let me know down below what you got up to on your New Year's Eve and your New Year's Day. I'm actually really curious and I'm just slightly nosy. Thanks guys for watching. Stay safe, stay happy, stay smiling and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Until then, love you, bye.